Welcome back to the Yacht Addiction YouTube channel. The yacht in front of us is a 2018 Ferretti Yachts 550. This is a 55 foot long flybridge cruiser. If you're looking for an Italian cruiser at a great price, then look no further. This yacht is listed for sale by Worth Avenue Yachts and they've granted us access to do a full tour. Here you can see a couple of the specs of the yacht. Like I said, it's 55 feet, built in 2018, 15 foot, 11 inch beam. And you have room for six people in three different staterooms. Let's get started with this tour. So we're starting on the hydraulic swim platform and this is where you'd store a tender or a jet ski. And you also have a really nice storage area for some fishing gear cleaning supplies, or whatever else you need to store in here. If we step up into the cockpit, you'll see the stairs leading up to the flybridge. And you'll also see this bench seating area with a teak table. There are some freestanding chairs that wrap around it. So it's a great place to hang out and socialize. You can see some JL audio speakers in a few different places in this cockpit. It has a great sound system. And this hatch through the floor will lead us to the engine room. And this brings us to the crew compartment, but we'll save those for later on in the tour. So this glass door will slide all the way across, but for the sake of keeping the AC in, we'll just open this first panel. Take a look at this Italian sports cruiser. You have a galley aft layout. So you have your refrigerator right here. Storage overhead. Then you have a little convection microwave, a cooktop, and your sink. Now moving forward, you have your main living area. So you have a little set tea on the port side. And then you have your dining area slash main living area. You have a pretty good size U-shaped seating area for a yacht this size. And then this is an expandable table. So everyone can dine at the same time in this space. I also believe there's a TV right in here that will rise up. So it's hard to see the view out the front because there are covers on the windshield, but the helm is actually on the port side. You have twin SIMRAD screens. Then you have your throttle control, your autopilot control, your bow thruster, your VHF radio. Then here is an electrical panel for the yacht. So this yacht, has three cabins, and I think we'll start with the forward VIP cabin. You have a little dressing table, and then here is your double bed. You have the TV up on the wall, and there's also a hatch above if you need to escape from this area or just get some extra ventilation. There's an ensuite right behind this door, but I think we'll just take the other way around. You have your sink toilet, and then your shower is right here. It's a rainfall shower, and it's on this track system on the floor. So these panels will rotate across, closing off this shower space. Then of course, there's a little closet right here. The third cabin has two single beds, and this one does not have an ensuite, so you're gonna share with the second cabin. And then here is the master cabin. Take a couple steps down in the midship. It's the full beam of the boat, as you'd expect. You have a great little seating area and table over here. And then if we take a couple of steps up, that will lead us to the ensuite. 
And there's a little bunch in the shower. You do have some closet space behind this mirror. Then I know you enjoy seeing all the little extra storage spaces whenever I find them. You can lift up these stairs and you have a great little storage area. I also saw there is a window right here that can open up, giving you some fresh air at the helm. And I really like the LED strips of light that they put in the ceiling. You have all the storage for your glassware. So we're gonna keep things moving. And I think we'll walk up to the bow next. There are not handrails on either side, although you feel pretty secure walking to the front. Then you have a large sun pad. And another seating area right here with a hole in the floor for a table. We're gonna head up to the flybridge next, which are up these stairs. So right away you'll see you have another sim route screen and another set of controls. So you have your VHF radio, the bow thruster, and your throttle control. You also have controls for the fusion stereo system. Forward, you have another large sun pad. Then I believe there's a little fridge in here And you also have a grill and sink. Now looking back on the flybridge, you have some storage underneath these seating areas and you have a large place to hang out that wraps around this table. And the bench seat for the helm is also convertible. We can slide this back so now you have U-shaped seating around this table. And there's also a bimini top overhead. So you can, of course, bring this down if you wanna enjoy the sunshine up here on the flybridge. I hope you all appreciate my efforts. So I'm gonna climb down into this little crew area. So right under this ladder is the toilet. Obviously you have to remove the ladder to use this space. You have a little sink, and I believe this will pull out for the shower. Then through this door, you have the little crew area. So obviously a yacht this size, you're not gonna have a full-time crew, but if you wanted to have a captain for a day or just sleep one extra person, you could do so in this area. I will say I'm in sunny, hot Fort Lauderdale at the International Boat Show. It's very hot outside. However, the AC works incredibly well in here. So that's always nice to see. It's a little fogged up, but you can see the window outside of the transom. And then here's a little closet.
So we close that back up. The last thing we need to check out is the engine room. And we're gonna have to remove a couple of these chairs to do so. So down one more ladder, you can see your Cummins generator right here. You don't have full standing headroom, although over the hatch, you do have full standing headroom. This yacht comes with a pair of MAN 800 engines, they're 777 horsepower each. The top speed is about 29 knots, you can cruise at 26, and you get about a few hundred miles of range. Now this yacht does have a sea keeper on it. You can see that right back here. This hatch is extremely large. So we're gonna set the camera down to make sure we bring it down properly. So let's get out of this heat. And wrap up this tour. Let me know what you thought about this one in the comments down below. This is the first Ferretti I've been on, although I do want to tour larger Ferrettis in the near future. Thank you to Worth Avenue Yachts for setting up this tour. I'm going to link this listing down in the description if you want to see this yacht in more detail. Make sure to leave a like on the video, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a future upload. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.